Prepare for an extraordinary and cataclysmic cosmic event that could forever alter our understanding of the universe. Betelgeuse, the colossal red giant star on the outer edge of our galaxy, has begun emitting disturbing signals that suggest it is on the brink of a monumental transformation. In 1929, humanity's grasp of the cosmos shifted dramatically with a discovery that would forever alter our understanding of the universe. Astronomers realized that the universe was not static but expanding, a revelation driven by Edwin Hubble's meticulous observations of galaxies whose light was redshifted, indicating they were moving away from us. This pivotal breakthrough became the foundation for the Big Bang Theory and set in motion a cascade of revelations throughout the 20th century, transforming our conception of the universe from a timeless, unchanging expanse to a dynamic, evolving arena shaped by powerful forces. By 1957, scientists had deepened this comprehension even further, recognizing that the sky was not merely a fixed canopy of distant stars, but a living, changing theater where galaxies, stars, and even the fundamental elements that make up life on Earth were forged in cosmic processes. The iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, and every element heavier than hydrogen owe their existence to nuclear processes within stars. In the extreme heat and crushing pressure of stellar cores, lighter elements fuse to form heavier ones in a process called nucleosynthesis. These elements are later spread across space during violent stellar explosions known as supernovae. Often described as cosmic alchemy, this process reveals an intimate connection between the birth, life, and death of stars in our own very existence. The matter that composes the human body is forged in these cataclysmic events, linking us to a grand universal narrative in which the death of stars creates the building blocks of life itself. In recent decades, fueled by astonishing technological advancements, scientists have been able to peer deeper than ever into the structure of space and time, focusing their gaze on some of the most mysterious and iconic stars visible from Earth. Among these is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant nestled in the shoulder of the Orion constellation. For generations, Betelgeuse has captivated astronomers and casual stargazers alike with its distinctive reddish hue and exceptional brightness in the night sky. But its recent behavior has elevated it from familiar landmark to astronomical celebrity, drawing intense global attention. Once among the brightest stars seen from Earth, Betelgeuse has begun exhibiting strange variability in its luminosity, including violent pulsations and unexplained dimming events. These fluctuations have led some scientists to speculate that Betelgeuse may be entering the final stages of its life, a phase that could culminate in a spectacular supernova explosion. The unpredictability of these changes has prompted observatories around the world to train their most advanced instruments on this enigmatic stellar neighbor. Despite appearing as a mere reddish speck to the naked eye, Betelgeuse is anything but ordinary. With an estimated mass about 20 times that of our sun, it is one of the largest and most luminous stars known. Its sheer scale is staggering to consider. If Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would extend beyond the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even reach past Jupiter. Despite this immense size, it lies a relatively short cosmic distance away, about 640 light years from Earth. Even at the speed of light, which vastly surpasses anything humans can currently achieve, it would take over six centuries to travel there. With present day propulsion technology, such a journey would take millions of years. Yet this great distance does not lessen the importance of Betelgeuse's recent changes. If anything, it magnifies them by offering a rare chance to observe the aging process of a massive star in real time. Betelgeuse is known to be a pulsating variable star, which means it naturally cycles through periods of expansion and contraction that affect its brightness as seen from Earth. When it expands, it emits more light and appears brighter. When it contracts, its brightness dims. Scientists have identified two primary brightness cycles in Betelgeuse, one lasting about 185 days and another spanning roughly 2,300 days. However, recent observations have revealed deviations from these known cycles in both magnitude and unpredictability. One of the most striking episodes occurred in early 2020 during what became known as the Great Dimming. 
when Betelgeuse's V-band magnitude fell dramatically to around plus 1.61, a significant drop in brightness that was impossible to ignore. This unexpected dimming sparked widespread speculation that Betelgeuse might be on the verge of going supernova. Though that theory remains unconfirmed, the event underscored the star's instability and galvanized a global scientific effort to monitor it more closely. Part of Betelgeuse's signature red coloration stems from its relatively cool surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, substantially cooler than our sun's 5,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature means Betelgeuse emits less energy per unit area despite its colossal size. Scientists believe its recent dimming events are tied to changes in the star's internal structure, particularly within its outer helium shell, where nuclear fusion continues. As Betelgeuse ages, it evolves from fusing hydrogen to helium and eventually to heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Each transition triggers bursts of energy that ripple outward, causing the star's layers to expand and contract and leading to significant mass loss through powerful stellar winds. These processes create a kind of stellar heartbeat, rhythmic fluctuations in brightness that can be measured from Earth. Astronomers use advanced observational techniques to study these cycles in detail. Photometry allows them to track changes in brightness over time, while spectroscopy breaks the star's light into its component wavelengths, revealing chemical composition, surface temperature, and radial velocity, the speed at which the star's layers move toward or away from us. Complementing these observations are sophisticated computational models that simulate Betelgeuse's internal dynamics. Incorporating complex equations of stellar structure, convection, and thermonuclear reactions to predict its future behavior and explain its recent changes. A major factor in Betelgeuse's irregular luminosity is convection, the rising of hot plasma from its interior, and the sinking of cooler material. Betelgeuse's convective cells are thought to be enormous, possibly larger than Earth itself. Variations in these cells' efficiency or organization can lead to dramatic and seemingly erratic shifts in brightness. Additionally, the gas and dust expelled by the star can form vast clouds that obscure its light from our perspective, creating dimming events that may not be directly tied to intrinsic changes in the star's energy output. Though Betelgeuse is generally regarded as a solitary star, astronomers have also explored the possibility that it might have a binary companion. In binary systems, two stars orbit each other, sometimes exchanging mass in ways that can significantly alter their evolution. Such interactions could enhance pulsations, modify brightness cycles, or even accelerate nuclear fusion processes. No companion has been found, but the idea remains a tantalizing possibility that adds complexity to models of massive star evolution. The most dramatic and widely anticipated scenario, however, is that Betelgeuse is approaching the end of its life and will eventually explode as a supernova. Like all massive stars, Betelgeuse maintains a delicate equilibrium between the outward pressure generated by nuclear fusion in its core and the inward pull of gravity. When the core begins producing iron, fusion can no longer generate energy to counter gravity's relentless pull, leading to a catastrophic core collapse. This collapse triggers a titanic explosion that ejects the star's outer layers into space in a dazzling display of light and energy. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, the event would be visible even during the day and could outshine the full moon for weeks or months. It would become the brightest object in the night sky, a cosmic spectacle on a scale rarely witnessed in human history. Fortunately, despite its massive energy output, Betelgeuse is far enough away from Earth to pose no direct danger. If such an explosion were to occur much closer to us, the consequences could be severe. A nearby supernova could generate intense gamma-ray bursts capable of stripping away Earth's ozone layer, increasing harmful ultraviolet radiation at the surface, disrupting ecosystems, harming human health, and damaging global agriculture. It could also produce electromagnetic pulses that might interfere with satellites and electronic systems on Earth. Thankfully, Betelgeuse's distance ensures that even a supernova would be spectacular without being catastrophic. After such an explosion, the star's remaining core could collapse into either a neutron star or, if massive enough, a black hole. A black hole formed from Betelgeuse would be a scientific treasure, 
emitting intense radiation from its accretion disk as surrounding matter spirals inward. Such an object would offer a natural laboratory for studying extreme gravitational and quantum environments. Regardless of its final fate, Betelgeuse's death will mark a profound milestone in our understanding of stellar evolution and the life cycles of massive stars. Supernovae, while violent and destructive, are also essential to cosmic evolution. They spread the heavy elements forged in stellar cores into the surrounding interstellar medium, seeding future generations of stars and planetary systems. The death of one star often leads directly to the creation of many more, sustaining the endless cycle of cosmic birth, death, and rebirth. Should Betelgeuse explode within our lifetimes, it would not only be an unprecedented astronomical event, but also a powerful symbol of transformation. A brilliant final farewell from one of the sky's most majestic giants, illuminating both our skies and our understanding of the universe in one unforgettable moment. These monumental changes in Betelgeuse's behavior have galvanized an unprecedented global effort to observe and analyze the star more closely than ever before. Advanced facilities like the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and NASA's Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes have joined forces to monitor every nuance of its shifting state. Astronomers are capturing high-resolution images, studying detailed spectra of its emitted light, and analyzing changes in infrared and ultraviolet emissions to build a more complete, multidimensional picture of what is happening inside this dying giant. The great dimming event of late 2019 and early 2020 was especially dramatic, so profound it was visible to the naked eye and served as a stark reminder of the dynamic, evolving universe we inhabit. The unprecedented attention focused on Betelgeuse in recent years has transformed it into one of the best-studied stars in the sky, allowing astronomers to refine their models of stellar evolution and test fundamental physics under extreme conditions. Observations from the Very Large Telescope in Chile have captured subtle changes in the star's surface brightness, revealing vast convective cells churning across its face like slow-moving ocean currents of searing plasma. These cells, sometimes spanning a significant fraction of the star's radius, are responsible for much of the unpredictable variability seen from Earth. Infrared observations, particularly from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope before its retirement, have provided critical data on the dust expelled by Betelgeuse. When the star loses mass through stellar winds, the material cools and condenses into dust grains, forming a shroud that can obscure its light. During the great dimming of 2019 to 2020, many astronomers concluded that the sudden drop in brightness was at least partially due to such a dust cloud forming in our line of sight. This theory gained support from infrared imaging that revealed excess emission consistent with newly formed warm dust. Meanwhile, spectroscopic studies have tracked the movement of gases in Betelgeuse's atmosphere, revealing complex flows and shock waves generated by the star's pulsations. By analyzing subtle shifts in absorption and emission lines, researchers can measure how quickly parts of the star's atmosphere are moving toward or away from Earth. These measurements have shown that Betelgeuse is shedding mass at an enormous rate, losing material equivalent to several Earths every year. Over thousands of years, this lost mass will enrich the interstellar medium with the elements needed to form new stars, planets, and possibly even life. Beyond its individual drama, Betelgeuse serves as a natural laboratory for understanding the broader class of red supergiants the final evolutionary stage for many massive stars. Despite their importance in galactic ecology, these stars remain challenging to study. Their sheer size and turbulent atmospheres defy simple modeling, while their rarity means relatively few can be observed in detail. Betelgeuse's proximity gives scientists a unique opportunity to probe processes like convection, pulsation, and mass loss in ways impossible with more distant targets. One of the most intriguing questions concerns the precise timeline to supernova. Despite public excitement over the great dimming, most astronomers believe Betelgeuse's explosion is not imminent on human timescales. It could be tomorrow or in 100,000 years. Cosmologically, a blink of an eye, but practically an eternity. The uncertainties arise because modeling the late stages of massive star evolution is notoriously difficult. 
small differences in internal temperature, rotation rate, magnetic fields, or chemical composition can lead to vastly different lifespans. Recent studies using sophisticated three-dimensional simulations attempt to incorporate these messy details, such as the interaction of nuclear fusion with turbulent convection and the effects of rotation on internal mixing. These models suggest that Betelgeuse is in the helium-burning phase or perhaps fusing carbon in shells around its core. As the fusion chain proceeds to heavier elements like neon, magnesium, silicon, and eventually iron, the timescales shorten dramatically. The final iron core collapse, which triggers the supernova, takes only seconds once fusion stops supporting the core against gravity. When that moment comes, the resulting supernova will be spectacular. For weeks or months, Betelgeuse will blaze in our sky, bright enough to cast shadows at night and visible even in daytime. Historical records show that humans have seen such events before. The most famous recorded supernova in our galaxy occurred in 1054 and produced the Crab Nebula, an event so bright that Chinese astronomers documented it as a guest star visible in daylight for nearly a month. Betelgeuse's explosion would be even more luminous given its greater mass.